I'm Cara and welcome to this lying down yoga sequence. So when you're ready, start lying down on your back. And we'll start with knees bent, hands to your belly. And just breathing nice and easily in and out through your nose. And just breathing into the belly a little more than you might normally. Good, and then when you're ready, give both knees a hug into your chest. And again, take a few breaths there, breathing into your belly. Just easy breaths. No, don't need to be any bigger than normal. But just that little bit deeper into your belly, working your diaphragm. And then release the right foot to the ground. Left leg, we're going to hug the knee in and then circle the toes around. So circling at the ankle, just nice and smooth and easy. And then switching to holding the back of the leg. Now, if you're a bit less flexible, then maybe just hold the sides of the leg like this so you can bend and straighten here. If you've got that bit more flexibility, hold the back of the leg, the hamstring. We're just going to bend and straighten a few times. Doesn't matter if the leg goes completely straight or not. Just working it up towards straight. And then the next time it goes towards straight, holding it there, pushing up through the heel of the foot. And then pushing up through the ball of the foot. Good, we're gonna keep with the same leg and bring the knee wide of the rib cage. Take a hold either of the outside of the shin, the lower leg, or if you can reach a hold, reach to the outside of the foot. Now you'll see the arm comes to the inside of the knee. As you hold the outside of the foot, heel up to the sky. If it feels too much, just switch and hold the shin. You don't want to force it. You just want it to be a nice, easy, intense, but not a painful stretch. Good, feeling the shoulders loose and heavy. Feeling the lower back still pressing into the ground. And then crossing that foot over the right upper leg. So you've got this figure of four. If you were to straighten the leg out, you've got an upside down figure of four. And then we'll hold the back of the right hamstring. Again, if you're that bit less mobile, maybe you hold the edges. If you've got a bit more flexibility, maybe you hold the shin, but not so much so that the lower back lifts up too much. Still try and keep the lower back pressing down towards the earth. And then as we hold there, think about this whole shin on the left-hand side pushing away from you as you resist by drawing the right leg in. So you've got that shin actively trying to work away from you. Good, and then lower this right foot down. And then we'll roll to the side till the top foot finds the ground, but the knee is still up. You can roll the shoulders back open and then try and press that left knee away from you. You can even use your hand to help. And then that top knee can come down to the ground. You can open into your twist. If this shoulder doesn't find the ground easily, then just readjust how the knees are and how the shoulder is 
so that you find a position that's comfortable for you. And just allow the body to rest and relax there. Breathing in and out through your nose. And again, nice easy breaths. Don't think about too deep a breath or too big a breath, but rather down into your belly, working your diaphragm. And then bring the left arm back over, roll back onto your back. And bring the knees bent, feet to the ground again. This time we'll hug the right knee in. And just holding there. Again, breathing into your belly. And then circling the foot around. And exactly the same as the other side. We'll switch to hold the back of the leg or the sides if you're that bit less mobile. And we'll just explore between bending and straightening, almost sort of flossing out the leg. Really take your time as it pushes up towards straight. And then the next time the leg straightens, hold there, we'll push up through the heel. And then push up through the ball of the foot. Good, then we'll bend the knee, bring the foot across the left upper leg. Again, it's this upside down figure of four shape. Either hold the left hamstring or the left shin and then pressing the right knee away from you. And again, it's as though that whole shin is pushing right away from you as you draw the left shin in towards your body. Good, so keeping that active push away as you hold. And then we'll release the left foot down to the ground. Roll the body over to the left hand side till that foot finds the ground, knee is up. Bring the shoulders open to the ground. Hands can go to your belly or your ribs. Just holding there, thinking about that right knee pushing away from you. So you've got this opening and external rotation at the hip. Again, breathing in and out through your nose, breathing into your belly. Nice, easy breaths. And then that top knee comes down to the ground and opening out to the side and feel free to adjust to make this full body twist work for your body. You're going to particularly think belly button up, so it's your upper spine or thoracic spine that's doing the twisting. When you find a position you can maintain, just holding there for a few breaths. And then bringing the right arm back over, roll back onto your back. And then we're going to give both knees a hug in again. Take a few breaths with both knees hugging in. And then give the knees a circle around. Good. Release the left foot down to the ground, right knee hugging in, right knee comes wide of the ribs, heel up to the sky, either hold again the shin or the outside of the shin, 
or if you can reach to hold the outside of the foot and then holding there whether you've got the foot or the shin and again you want it to be an intense stretch but not a painful stretch Good. From here, release the foot. We're going to bring soles of the feet together, knees apart, and then bring your hands just under the upper leg. And you can make fists like this just to support the legs so that they rest on something. You might have to be right in towards the sit bones to help them rest on something. If the legs don't rest there, then maybe just grab a pillow or two and tuck them underneath. Just so you've got that little bit of support for the legs as we rest here. With your arms by your sides, just feeling the shoulders move away from the ears, the shoulder blades move right beneath the body. But then notice, have the ribs butted up, draw the ribs back in at the same time. Again, in and out through your nose. Nice, easy breath. Right the way down into your belly. And then we're going to bring the knees up, bring the heels in towards the hands. Now it might be that you can hold the back of the heels. For some of you that are a bit more flexible, you might be able to hold the front of the ankles. But whether you're holding the back of the heels or the front of the ankles, just allow the knees to start moving from side to side. They might just go halfway down towards the ground. Some of you, they might go that little bit further towards the ground. But as always, you don't force anything. You just allow the knees to move in their own range. And then the next time you come back to center, Allow the knees to rock in towards one another. Lower back, just give it a little wriggle. Hips move side to side. And then reach the arms above the head. Take a hold of the forearms or the elbows. Resting there. Just a few more breaths to finish off. Good. and feel free to stay in this position for as long as you like to finish. Good, I hope you enjoyed that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and recommend to friends or family, anyone that you think might enjoy these videos as well. Have a lovely, lovely day.